Fred don't fuck around. They round up everybody. Fred don't fuck around. Everybody. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? As you guys have seen it, it's been all over the news. Everything. El Chapo's wife is under arrest by the feds. And... They found out a lot of stuff about her. Yeah. So in my last video, <laughs> where I'm talking about, you know, uh, once the dust, you know, the dust settles down with the really big, big, big cases, then they come in through the back door and sweep the rest of it. I mean, the main, main, objective of the feds is to neutralize and destroy that criminal organization so that's what they do you know they come in and you know first they they cut off the heads and then they come in gutting the whole thing all the way straight down and it's this is not the end i mean i'm surprised it even took this long actually um for this to actually hit but you know, a wife is always going to know more than she should about her husband's business. It is what it is. And whatever wife ever says, I didn't know nothing that he was doing, you know, um, uh, is a lie. It's a lie because, you know, damn well, <clears throat> a woman is going to want to know what you're doing, why you're gone, why you have so much money. And, you know, you, you uh, talk about certain things and it's just how it is. But, you know, sometimes that comes back and bites you in, in the in the ass because like I, I was saying in the last video, they're, they're coming back and, and cleaning up all the debris that was like left, you know. Um, and that's, you know, going over all the phone calls to see if they catch any other, you know, at, at one time, and all those recordings they had, they were looking for one, two, maybe three names at the most. So they weren't paying attention to all the other stuff. Now that they're done with all those names, now they're paying attention to all the little stuff. And they're going over recordings, pictures, everything. And they coming. They coming. I'm scared of the feds. <laughs> the feds to me is like the Yorona. <laughs> you know, they um they were saying I was reading it and they were saying that they actually have proof that she knew and was taking care of a lot of business for the Sinaloa cartel, for her husband, you know, making a lot of uh, moves and, and stuff like that, that she was actually very involved. And they actually have proof that she had something to do with the uh, the escape that happened, that was planned and everything. And um, I mean, it only makes sense, man. Like the one woman that has your back, like to tell her what to do if, if shit goes, goes, you know, wrong. Um, it, it's only common sense, right? But now she's gonna be facing you know a, a shitload of time and who knows what could happen you know it's it's a, a battlefield right now out there in mexico they're fighting for control of plazas uh it's it's not stop because it's just so much money that when you're at that level of business 
it's very very different when you're on the streets you know hustling you know a, a kilo it's very very different when you're at that level because really all you have to do is make a couple of phone calls and you have 500 of them in, in Chicago or California or Florida and one deal like that can set you up for you know a couple of years and when you're at that level and you're just making phone calls like that to get shit done it's kind of hard to to say no and i don't give a fuck what anybody says or i it's 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 funny because a lot of people be like no i would never you know but if you were to like see the money there and then you would you would think about it and it, you know it, it doesn't it's one of our natural, like, human fucking, whatever you want to call it, like, uh, addictions or, or demons or whatever, you know, uh, uh, money, greed. And it, it's very, very hard. It's very hard. Like, I would be scared to actually have money like that again. But they picked her up in Washington at the airport. They're uh, transferring her over to, uh, she's probably going to go to Illinois because that's where the inv investigation is in Chicago. And they're gonna book her in, charge her, and we're gonna see where the feds take this. I mean, I'll be honest, the feds do not snatch you up unless it's a for sure, for sure thing. Once they snatch you up, you, you're, you're going away for some time. It doesn't matter whether it's you know a year or, or 30, but if they snatch you, that means that they got something on you and they, they uh, yeah, they came to get you. <laughs> So, you know, she's being charged with a couple of things. I mean, it's not, it's not like your average, it's some serious shit. They're, they're trying to completely, you know, take apart the Sinaloa cartel and they're, uh, they're hitting hard. My name's JC. I am wrong strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here. Free, sober, not gang banging, not selling drugs, not being in prison, man. Live out here. I dare you. I'll catch you guys on a rebound.